What's going on folks, Hicks here with a new video. We have a bike from Velichik Bikes. They sent me their brand new fat tire. Today we're gonna unbox it, put it together and give it a quick ride. And I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on this bike. This is a paid video and they sent me this bike to keep for free as well. So thanks Velichik for that. Take these straps off, unbox it, put it together. I'm gonna show you guys what I think about it right now. Here we go. So when you order the bike, this is what it looks like. Velichikbike.com, ride today. We're gonna go ahead and get started by cutting these straps. And then we're gonna take a look at what's inside. Really nice box they sent this in. Ooh, look at that color. It's yellow. Kind of like a, looks like a mango. I'm suddenly hungry. All right, let's get to unboxing this bike. It looks so nice. First impressions, it looks very clean. Let's go ahead and get this packaging out of the way and take it out. This looks pretty heavy, so we're just gonna try and yank it out. This is a class two e-bike. Differs from most of them. Most of the ones I get are class three, which is, you would think that it's better, but I think companies are really starting to lean more towards class twos because they're safer and there's less regulations around them. As you're starting to see, you know, different counties and states create laws around e-bikes, you're gonna see more of them with less ridiculous amounts of power for no reason. In my own experience, I wanna say class two is the sweet spot for a lot of people. Here's your toolkit. I gotta say the packaging is super nice. This is some of the nicest packaging I've seen in any of these bikes so far. Everything is nicely compartmentalized. I love this. This is actually a big W. Impressed? Oh my God. <sighs> Strength is required to get this bike out of the box. Good thing I got the guns. I'm gonna put this together right now, but as always, if you guys buy an electric bike, make sure you just take it straight to a bike shop. These things can go quick. You're best off having an expert put it together for you. With that said, let's see what we gotta do. It looks like we have to put on the pedals, install the front wheel, turn the stem around, of course, because uh, if you put the bars on a the stem there, you're gonna have a bad time. So the stem obviously needs to get flipped around. Other than that, just put the bars on and that looks like it's about it. So far, really digging the colorway. It's almost like a matted black back here and this yellow really pops. Beautiful bike. As always, with all the bikes you guys see me check out, this will be the first link in the description if you want to check it out yourself keep that in mind as we go along so here's the bike after uh, we take it out and with a quick snap we're going to remove all of this packaging right now and here's how it looks i gotta say i'm a huge fan of this colorway black and yellow it just it never fails to impress you know you got wiz khalifa you got bumblebee from transformers and then you got this bike it's just they nailed it with this colorway so from here we have to pop the battery in. it looks like a safety measure they uninstall it so you got to pop that in put the bars in front wheel on pedals on and that's about it then we can take it for a ride i think this bike is going to look really good and we got to put together so i'm excited to see how it looks in just a second all right one very neat little detail that i have surprisingly seen yet they coiled all these cables so most of the times cables will be all over the place and it's kind of messy looking here they have them all coiled together so it's a much nicer appearance just a little touch one of the few things that makes this bike stand out so far from many of the other fat tire bikes i've checked out all right we are finishing up with the installation i do want to note on the front end you do have to flip the stem around when you take the bike out of the box just a note for anyone who ends up actually buying this put the bars on have to put the front wheel on which we're going to do right now you also have to put on your heads up display adapter screen thingy which we'll show you in just a sec. All right, so going in here, we have our kickstand. There's a toolbox, which has everything you need for assembly. Looks like some of these are just things you'll need in case of uh, if you need to do a quick repair, because the bike is mostly assembled right now with almost uh, no tools. We'll need this to get the front wheel on. One thing I do like is that it has these tiny little hooks in the dropout where the spacer sits. So even if for any weird reason, these bolts became loose which they never should and which I once again recommend you take your bike to a bike shop to have it put together even if they're a little bit loose your spacer is going to hook the wheel in there so you'll feel all this going on at this point you should know there's a problem if your wheel is this loose and you should stop immediately but uh it's a nice little safety feature tighten these down get the front wheel on there all right we have got it completely assembled and wow what a good looking bike can't forget to do this Oh yeah, satisfying. Uh, so real quick, I'm gonna read over some of the specs provided by the brand. So for the battery, we have a 48 volt, 14 amp hour Tesla grade Samsung battery, Shimano eight speed gearing. It's got a hydraulic disc brake system, which you see on high end mountain bikes. So that's something nice. They should have a nice snappy amount of stopping power and be easy to maintain, which is great. Also something you don't really see at bikes at this price point. So that's very impressive. They threw in hydraulic brakes. And of course this thing looks very comfortable, big comfy seat. Gigantic tires. It is a fat tire e-bike with a front suspension. So uh, excited to see how that feels in just a second. So here we have it, the Velatric Nomad. So here we have it, the Velatric Nomad 1. $15.99, as I said, it's the first link in the description if you want to check it out. Now something to keep in mind, obviously this bike does come with a headlight, which you install here along with the front fender, which is this. I just haven't installed either of those because I will not be riding at night. And I do like the look of the exposed front wheel, but uh, just so you know, you get both of those along with some extra reflectors. Here's the light and here's the charger, of course. 
which is pretty standard fare. You plug it in at night when you're done riding, it charges up your bike. Right now we're gonna go give it a ride, see how it feels. Let's go. All right, we have got the point of view helmet cam out here on the Nomad at Griffith Park. We are going to give this bike a spin in the streets and in the dirt right now. First off, we wanna see what this throttle feels like. I love having a throttle. On this one, it's on the, the left side, which is actually different. Most of them, are, they're built into this right-hand side. So I like seeing a little bit of attention to detail. It's at least different than every other one. So it looks like the throttle is actually tied to the pedal assist level you're in. Whoa, yeah, it definitely is. Let's see, let's see if it's different on one. Oh yeah, it is. And full throttle only, let's go. Apparently only on throttle, you'll hit 19 miles an hour, which I think is plenty, honestly. This thing is not designed for like a max speed everywhere you go, so once you start pedaling, that pedal assist just kicks right in. Waste no time. Let's see how it feels going over some bumpy terrain. I definitely made it over it. The pedal assist really just takes off. It's very powerful. Matter of fact, I think I prefer using it throttle only. It's a little bit more controllable that way. I don't think most people who buy this are gonna be trying to jump up curbs and stuff like I do. But the way that the bike is designed, you're pretty much always kind of pushing down on it. So once you pull up, it, it loosens up the front suspension. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Just chugging along, we got a full battery, full throttle and level five assist hits us at a solid 20 miles an hour go up to the top gear all right top gear level five pedal assist still tops you out at 20 miles an hour moving at a nice pace feels good let's see if we can throttle up this hill right here yes it can and now we're at a golf course never actually gotten a ride through this golf course nice twisty turns here Off-road, this thing, it just handles like a dream. You don't even feel the bounces. If you live anywhere where there's even a remote amount of off-road for you to cover, this thing's gonna make it so easy. All right, we're straight mobbing. Okay, this is uphill right here. I say like an 8% grade. No problem at all. Let's see if we can just throttle around up here. I've actually never been up here. This is pretty cool. One reason why you would want to put on the front fender is I am getting covered in dirt right now. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen, but... All right, we actually need to shift down and pedal up here. Wow, look at that view. I've legit never been here. This is pretty dope. All right, the even more fun part is we're going to go downhill the other way. So let's see how it handles that. Whoa! You got to remember, when you're in level 5 assist, this thing will just take off on you. <laughs> it is a solid ride though i'll give it that everything feels planted let's go baby 30 miles an hour right there on that descent that was nice that was a nice little descent. That was not planned at all. <laughs> oh man, let's go. That was sick. Well, there's an the off-road segment. Definitely passed with flying colors. I'll say that. Okay, two things I'm just in love with is the throttle. It just feels great. It's very punchy. It reacts immediately when you press it. The second you let off, it stops. It's a small thing, but a lot of these bikes Sometimes the throttle will be hit or miss. It'll have a little bit of delay on it. So to see this one be like very reactive to your touch is nice. It's very nice. I'm, a, I'm big on looks when it comes to bikes. You know, as you guys know, I've had tons and I've had literally hundreds of bikes over the years. So this one, uh, it's simple, just black and yellow, but I like it a lot. All right, we're gonna pop up on the curb here and straight up mob through the grass. <laughs> we made it Like I said, I really push these bikes. That's why you hear so much stuff clanking around and whatnot. You see like I derailed it <laughs> Oh quick note if you ever derail your e-bike make sure you turn it off because a lot of them If you even so much as move the pedal while it's on it'll start going that means your e-bike will go flying away You could grind your fingers up in the chain all types of bad stuff. So a little insider tip from me to you 
And we got our fingers a little greasy, but our chain is back on. I put on these shoes because I don't even care about these. Right now, we're going to do a stair bomb, see how that feels. Totally lucked out today. We got here at Griffith right before sunset. Anyways, stair test. Let's see if the chain stays on for this. I doubt it. Oh, we're good. Chain is still on and intact. Oh my God. I am just thumping and clunking around on this thing. I love it. You know, it's normal for a lot of noises to be made, but as long as everything's still. As long as everything's still on the bike. Let's get a, let's go 20 miles an hour, top speed, and then full brake, front and back test. Let's see. Three, two, one, and stop. Hmm, not a bad stopping distance. Let's see uh, how that comes out on camera. Okay, right here at this sign, I'm going to break. All right, we're gonna turn around and cook. Hit the throttle. Boom, and we're at 20. Uh, okay, not bad. So from full stopping distance, I mean, this is not scientific at all, but I say that's about like 12, 13 feet, uh, maybe 15, I don't know. All right, folks, so you have it. There's my thoughts on the Velichik Nomad e-bike. Definitely one of my favorites so far. If you're interested in this bike, first link in the description is where you can find it. Thoroughly satisfied. It impressed me. I can't, I gotta say, I wasn't expecting to be as impressed by this bike as I was. Uh, thanks to Velichik for sponsoring this video. And of course, as always, thanks to you for watching. See you next time. Peace out.